गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई नेम इज विजय गुप्ता एंड यूर वॉचिंग बायोलॉजी क्लासेस सो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस क्लास ऑफ बायोलॉजी टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज रिप्रोडक्शन इन ऑर्गेनिजम एज वी ऑल नो दैट करेंटली आई एम मेकिंग ऑल माई वीडियोज फॉर माई ट्वेल्थ स्टूडेंट्स इन माई लास्ट वीडियो आई स्टार्टेड अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज योर चैप्टर नंबर वन दैट वॉज रिप्रोडक्शन इन ऑर्गेनिज्म सो इन दैट लेक्चर आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन अबाउट द डिफरेंट मोड्स ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन सच एज वेजिटेटिव रिप्रोडक्शन ए सेक्शुअल एंड सेक्शुअल एंड टू इम्पॉर्टेंट सॉरी वन इम्पॉर्टेंट टाइप ऑफ ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन दैट वॉज बाइनरी फिजन मल्टीपल फिजन एंड प्लाज्माटोमी बट इन दिस वीडियो आई एल टेल यू अबाउट अनदर मैथड ऑफ ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन सच एज बाई बडिंग बाई फ्रेगमेंटेशन एंड बाई स्पोरोशन सो दीज थ्री मैथड्स विल डिस्क्राइब इन दिस वीडियो now i would like to summarize the last video first uh, as a introduction of this chapter reproduction in organism so first of all i would like to tell you about the definition of reproduction what the definition is reproduction is a biological process in which an organism give rise to young ones as we all know that to continue uh, their existence each organism reproduce and with the help of reproduction they reproduce their young ones and this phenomenon is called as reproduction which are similar to itself and all the progenies all the offsprings of an organism are similar to itself so it is the reproduction now how many types of reproduction are there there are three main types of reproduction is present number one is vegetative reproduction second one is asexual reproduction and the third one is sexual reproduction in my last video i told you about the asexual reproduction is generally of four types number one binary fission uh, that is fission sorry and fission can be categorized into three types the first one is binary fission second one is multiple fission and the third one is plasmatomy i describe all these terms in my last video so let's start in this video i will tell you about by budding by fragmentation and by sporulation so it was a summary of my last video so at first i'll tell you about the budding by budding budding is a special type of asexual reproduction which takes place in an organism which is yeast as we all know that yeast is an unicellular fungi it is the yeast cell and the cell consists of a nucleus and a vacuole so this yeast cell give rise to numerous small buds as you can see in the diagram these are the small buds which are arises from the yeast cell after some time these buds detached from the main cell and these detached buds develops and to form a new yeast cell this method of reproduction is known as by budding and yeast is the best example of budding now the second one is by fragmentation fragment means a small piece of a filament that is known as fragmentation an algae which is known as spirogyra it is usually a fresh water algae and you can found it in the pond and it is also known as pond silk as it shine uh, like the silk so hence the name is pond silk is given so it is the pond silk or spirogyra and these are the filaments of spirogyra these are the cells of spirogyra which consist of a single nucleus and the ribbon shaped chloroplast so the yeast sorry the spirogyra uh, reproduce with the help of fragmentation so it's a method of asexual reproduction and the best example is spirogyra so the filaments of spirogyra breaks into small fragments as you can see in the diagram these are the small fragments which are which formed by the filaments after some time all the fragments which detach from the main body give rise to a new filament of spirogyra so here you can see the reproduction takes place with the help of small fragments so the phenomenon is known as fragmentation okay as you can see spirogyra small fragments and a new filament of spirogyra so it was the fragmentation now the last one is sporulation sporulation means when the reproduction when the asexual reproduction takes place with the help of spores then this type of reproduction is known as sporulation here i have taken an example of eulothrix which is also a fresh water algae filamentous algae and found at the bottom of the pond attached to a substratum suppose that it is a substratum or a base and it is the filament of eulothrix it is a unbranched straight filaments these are the cells of eulothrix one on another it is the nucleus of the cell so it is the eulothrix and algae now this algae reproduce by sporulation 
as i told you before that sporulation means formation of spore so there are four kinds of spores can be seen in the eulothrix i'll tell you one by one the first one is juice spore second one is aplanospore next is hypnospore and the last one is formula stage so first of all juice spore what the juice spore is the cells of the eulothrix contract the cytoplasm of the cell contract the nucleus divides into numerous segments each segment of nucleus accumulates some cytoplasm and produce a pear shaped structure and this pear shaped structure is uninucleate and biflagellate uninucleate means a single nucleus is present and biflagellate means when the two flagella are found for the locomotion so these are two flagella hence it is biflagellate and it is the single nucleus so the this pear shaped structure is known as juice spore as you can see inside the cell there are numerous juice spores are formed and when the juice spores are matures the cell ruptured and the juice spores become free now each free juice spore swims freely for some time on the surface of the water and and after that it settles down to a substratum suppose that it is a substratum and the juice spore is settled down by its head and after some time it develops and to form a new filament of eulothrix this type of reproduction is known as asexual reproduction by juice spore or by the sporulation so it was the first type of spore now the second one is aplanospore what the aplanospore is it is not pear shaped it is rounded and it forms only during the unfavorable condition one thing i missed uh, this ju these juice spores form during the favorable condition while remaining three uh, spores aplanospores hypnospores and formula stage forms during the unfavorable conditions of this algae so the aplanospore form during the unfavorable conditions in this method the cytoplasm of the cell contracts the nucleus divides into numerous segments each segments accumulate the cytoplasm and to form a rounded structure which is known as the aplanospore as the aplanospore formation is complete and the cell matures the cell rupture and the aplanospore becomes free each aplanospore germinate in favorable condition and give rise to new filament of eulothrix so this type of reproduction is known as by aplanospore next one is by hypnospore when the cell of eulothrix form a single and a large spore that is known as hypnospore it single form and its wall is very thick and the resting period of this spore is high or you can see the long resting period so it is the hypnospore it is single spore and its protective layer or this its uh, wall is very thick at the end of unfavorable condition it germinate and to form a new filament of eulothrix now the last is pomela stage it is a special type of a stage as you can see it is the filament of eulothrix the cells of eulothrix produce numerous aplanospore rounded spores which comes out inside the cell or from the cell and a mucilaginous substance also produces inside the cell which surrounds these spores as you can see in the diagram these are the spores which are surrounded by a mucilaginous matrix on the return of favorable condition when uh, water comes uh, when it receive the water then mucilaginous sub substance dissolve and these aplanospores becomes free and these aplanospores germinate and give rise to a new filament of eulothrix thus the process of pomela stage takes place so it was all about the sporulation the first by juice spore aplanospore hypnospore and pomela stage i think i told you everything about the asexual reproduction and uh, the topic may be very clear to you if you have any type of question you may ask in the comment section i will try my best to reply so in this video it was all about asexual reproduction uh, in next video, I'll tell you about the vegetative reproduction. So thanks for watching. Have a good day.